Hello, I'm Liliana, Corporate Communications here at Human Resources Mexico, and this is a client notification. So in order for us to understand how Human Resources Mexico will be processing the invoices, Yvonne here will be giving us a general explanation. So Yvonne, could we start by you telling us uh, how often will you, will you be sending us uh, my invoices? Sure, once you are a client from Human Resources Mexico, you will receive an invoice um, per month, but the date of issue, it will vary. That they will vary? How yes. so? Yes, because for example, if your payroll is on the end of the month, you will receive an invoice at the half of the month, probably between the 17 or the 19. Okay. But for instance, if your payroll is weekly or semi-monthly, you will receive an invoice between the, f um, well, in the first five days of uh, each month. Okay, perfect. And uh, can you tell me what type of items will I be finding uh, in my invoice? Sure. Well, when you receive the first invoice, you will receive the setup, the setup fee cost. Okay. And that's just one time, right? Yeah, this okay. is one time. Is okay. the enrollment cost, and for also will include the salary. This is regardless the payroll period, okay. and also all the benefits you have um, offered the employee, like medical insurance or telcel or bonus or whatever you may offer. Okay. Um, it's very important to know that taxable compensations are subject to markup, and all deductible expenses will have no additional. Uh, charge okay. and please keep in mind that a uh, $20 fee will be adding every invoice so um, to cover the cost of incoming wire fee okay so with that said when is it the best time for me to cover my invoice payment well we will send an invoice uh, with a week prior deadline but you just want to we want to make sure that we receive the funds 48 business hours prior the payroll date. So before, all right, yeah. 48 hours before the payroll yeah. date. Okay. And um, so what happens if I want to give a bonus to one of my employees? Oh, well, that's very important. First of all, we need to know if this bonus is gross or net. Gross or net. Can you yes. tell me the differences between both of them? Yeah, sure. Well, let's, for instance, you want to pay to the employee a bonus of $6,000. Okay. If it's gross, this means is before taxes. So we will add in your invoice a uh, concept that will say the bonus $6,000 and this will be multiplying by the markup factor. Oh. So you will have to transfer a little bit more than the 6,000. Mm -hmm. But if you said, I want to pay this 6,000 net, this is called the take home salary. So we will have to calculate the cross, then we'll multiply it by the markup factor so we can, um, pay the employee the exact amount of $6,000. So what you're telling me is that the only thing I need to specify is if I want it net or gross, right? Yeah, that is correct. But here we have two situations. For instance, the first one is when you pay or you want to pay uh, something that is less than $2,000 or when the payment, the second scenario is when you pay something above the ten thousand dollars okay so what happens when the the, the bonus i want to give is below uh two thousand dollars okay as an internal policy of human resources mexico you are a subject to financing whenever the the we're talking about vacation bonus or uh overtime hours okay. since um the employee is entitled to these um payments by law what i'm trying to say here is that human resources mexico will pay these payments in advance okay. to the employee, but your payment will be required at your earliest convenience. Let me let me just jump in here. Uh, Franklin Human Resources Mexico, by the way, just to clarify this because you're bringing up some great points, uh, Ivan and Liliana. Um, what Ivan is is saying is up to two thousand dollars let's say for example you want to give a thousand dollar bonus right away to the employee but you know we're not going to invoice until the near the end of the month you know what Ivan is saying is we will finance that for you so we're not generating extra invoices because we we understand one thing here in human resources mexico we are here to save time and we are here to make things as simple as possible here in mexico every invoice we generate requires time on behalf of your company time and money someone has to review the invoices someone has to process the invoices someone has to authorize the invoices and someone has to pay them that's why we invoice one time per month 
to keep it simple. So what Yvonne is saying is if you, uh, each client has a credit limit up to $2,000 with us. That's basically what she's saying. And, and there is no interest or anything like that. We don't charge interest here at Human Resources Mexico. What we do is she'll process the payment and add that uh, bonus to the next invoice. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, that's exactly what I was very trying good, to say. Very good, very good. Go to the next one. You mentioned another scenario where the amount I want to give exceeds $10,000. What happens Yes, there? for this case, we will request uh, two authorizations. So this way, we'll avoid any misunderstanding that may arise. For both uh, scenarios, like Franklin said, uh, instead, if it exceeds, if it exceeds the $2,000 and let's say it's the 10,000 or 8,000, we will issue a special invoice and as soon as we receive the money, we will pay it uh, to the employee. Very good, and, and just to clarify why Yvonne uh, wants two-person authorization for an amount requested by the client of 10,000 or more to an employee is to protect the client. What happens in a worst case scenario if someone in the client has a relationship with the employee in Mexico and is on their way out the door and requests fifty thousand dollars and and your company is so big and processes the invoice because you trust the invoices of human resources Mexico so much and you pay it. <laughs> Okay, we want anything over 10,000. Yvonne is going to make sure that there's two people within your organization authorizing this amount. We know it may be a pain in the butt, but it is to protect you, our client. That's the bottom line, right, Yvonne? Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Yvonne. And can you tell me where can I contact you or any other agent if I have any additional questions? Sure, you can contact us in our email support at expandmexico.com. We will be a pleasure to help you. I got. I have a, just a couple more questions and comments, Yvonne. Um, the invoices that Human Resources Mexico generates for our clients, um, do we use a third party system? Yes, we use Quaderno. Very good. All invoices are going to be sent from there. That's right. Very important to know. We use a third party web based system called Quaderno. Um, just so you know that we use a third party service. So these invoices are going to arrive uh, to the contact's email address. Uh, with a PDF file attached or how does that work? Yes, it's going to have the PDF file attached and also a link that you can click in there and this, um, download the files for the okay. invoices. Hey, look, I'm a business person. We're all business people here. Um, so how do I know what you're invoicing me is correct? Let's say, for example, um, I asked or, or I authorized as the client, airfare, hotel, rent a car, um, I authorized uh, a monthly cell phone uh, exp expenditure for the employee. Um, how do I know you guys aren't jacking up the rates on the invoice and charging me more than what you're supposed to charge me? Is there something you include with all your invoices to other clients? Yes. All the expenses previously approved by you, they will have the documentation that support the the amount, the exact amount that we are charging. So you're going to send the client the original documentation, documentation. the original invoice mm -hmm. from the airline company, whether it be American Airlines, United, uh, All, yeah. Telcel, whether it be Hyatt Regency Hotel, yeah. you're going to send that attached to the invoice so the client knows that no one is playing games with prices. Exactly. Every, every amount is specified on the invoice. It will, be a, a, it will have an, uh, support. Okay, that's a great point, Yvonne. So every line item on the invoice, with the exception of the, the salary, okay, which we know is, you know, let's say $5,000 every, you know, semi-monthly, every 15th and 30th. Um, any other ex expenditures that I already approved as the client on the invoice is going to have the service case number to Zendesk exactly. so I can go back and verify what you're charging me, what I authorized? Yeah, that is correct. All the, the expenses will have your authorization number case. Excellent, okay. Yvonne. Excellent, Yvonne. Um, let me ask you this. How serious do you take your invoicing, Yvonne? Uh, do you have someone auditing the invoices before they go out? Yes. All my invoices are reviewed by one person. Actually, I make the invoice um, two times. I made it twice. First, I, I made it in an Excel file. Then I do the quaderno. And then I have another person reviewing every um, uh, every subject, every theme that I that is paint there 
Mm -hmm. You're saying right. So there's any mistakes above or we don't want to charge you more or less and we don't want to correct or, or you already transferred, oh, let me change it or let me send you a revised invoice. No, the first goes, it goes very, um, it's correct. Very good, Yvonne. And that's, you know, that's a great point to make in regards to invoicing for the same reason that I stated from the beginning. And especially, uh, I mean, again, being the general manager and principal of Human Resources Mexico, um, I can't tell you how important it is to us since day one that our clients uh, trust our invoices, okay? And, and we do take our business very, very seriously. And like Yvonne said, can you imagine the waste of time and money and energy on your company and mine if we're generating bad invoices? I mean, to go back and correct in this and that, I, it just doesn't make any sense. So uh, Yvonne, your department does have safeguards in place. Now mm -hmm. obviously, do some errors happen? Honestly, tell the truth. There's some errors. errors. Sometimes there's errors. Yeah, sometimes goes errors, but they're minimum or we do our best to don't have them. But if we do, we will um, re replace, replace them, it. Replace uh -huh. it as soon as we can and offer you an apology be, and promising you that it won't happen again and we will make sure it won't happen again. But I can tell you as a general manager and, and keeping track of all this, invoicing obviously is one of our most important functions, believe it or not, besides obviously handling uh, taxes and the payrolls and, and, and flights and human resources issues and things like that. Invoicing is very serious, okay? Uh, I can tell you from 10 years experience here in Human Resources Mexico that they do a very, very tremendous job in the finance department with invoicing. There are some errors here and there, but you know what? With the volume and in, in, in dollar-wise, we're talking millions and millions and millions of dollars of invoicing. Uh, my my respect, Yvonne. Very good job. Thank you so much. Very good job. Thank you so much. Any last words? Well, you can always write us at support at expandmexico.com if you have any additional questions. Well, thank you, Yvonne. Excellent thank job. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. And your thank English you. is good, too. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay, bye-bye.